Hi, my name is Mark Shumsker and welcome to TruePokerDealer.com. In this video, we'll be showing you how to shuffle the cards like a professional casino dealer and you're going to train with us. In other words, we're really going to make it automatic for you by the time that you've watched this video a couple of times and gone through it, particularly the riffle. But before we start, there's a couple things you're going to need. The first thing, we recommend a deck of playing cards, plastic playing cards. Uh, Gemico, Chems, Copags, these happen to be Copags. I recommend a, a setup like that. That way, when you use the cards, you can use them and use them and use them and they don't wear as much, they don't get grimy as much. Uh, the other thing that I recommend, a felt, something like this perhaps. If you don't have a poker table, which most people don't, something like this will work great on a dining room table or some other hard surface. This is shelf liner right here. This is pretty inexpensive. You can get about this much for a few dollars. This right here is a two by three piece of felt, and you can get this as well for just a few dollars. Uh, Walmart, Joanne Fabrics, a lot of other popular places carry this, very easy to find. Um, I'm gonna use the table since I have it right here though. So, if you don't remember the shuffle video, I highly recommend that you go and you take a look at it, or if you haven't seen it, that's going to teach you exactly what to do and a little bit of the whys uh, this is just to train your fingers, particularly for the riffle. But just to remind you, to wash the cards is the first part of the shuffle, just like this. Again, the shuffle video goes over this part more clearly. You group the cards together, you pick the cards up away from you, and now you get to the riffle part. So now we're here. Okay, I'm going to show you a lot of this stuff with just one hand. But note that when you're doing the riffle, it's mirrored with both hands. So both hands are going to be doing the exact same thing. Just to give you a feel though for what it looks like, when, when I say to do it, and I do it, do it with me. That way you'll train yourself. You do it with both hands while I do it with one hand. Here we go. Get the grip. The grip is here. Middle finger, ring finger, thumb. Just like this. All right. You would do it with both hands. So it would look like this. Just like that. All right. I'm doing it with just this hand. Next, you're going to split the deck in half, so you take them apart, just like this. Now again, two hands, just like this. Alright, so let's do that again. Grip it, middle finger, ring finger, thumb in their positions, just like it looks here. And then you split the deck in half. Alright, now when you, when you grip the deck, your pinky can be on the side, your forefinger you want freestanding. Alright? Here we go again. I'm going to do it with two hands just so you can see the feel. Do as I do. Grip, separate. One more time. Grip. You want to make sure your fingers are in the exact right positions. Separate, just like that. One more time. Grip and separate. Grip, separate. All right, the cards are always parallel to the table. They're never going like this in any direction throughout any part of the shuffle. That would defeat the purpose. Now we're going to move on to the next part. So it's, you do it with two hands, remember. Grip, separate, and then forefinger in the middle, pinky in the outside. You can see the pinkies on the outside, the forefingers in the middle. These fingers can slide up a little bit if they're uncomfortable, but don't go up here, that'll get in the way later. All right, do that again with me. I'm gonna do two hands now so you can see. Grip, separate, forefingers and pinkies. All right, now we're gonna move on. The next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to get our deck halves into position. So here we go. Now I'm gonna to have to do two hands from this part out. So we go grip, separate, four fingers in position, deck halves in position. Now notice right here we've got the deck halves are not parallel like this. They're a little bit angled like this. A little bit of that angle makes it so that when you shuffle the cards, they're gonna go onto each other nicely. All right, let's do that a couple more times. Take it from the top. Grip, separate, fingers in positions, deck halves in positions. All right, now we're going to start to add the difficult stuff. Now, I'm gonna show you what this looks like and then we're gonna do it together. So we've separated our deck here. We've got our fingers in position. We have our grip so that the thumbs are free if they need to. And what we're gonna do is once we get our deck halves in position, we slide our thumbs to the corners and then we're going to flatten our fingers just like this so that we can just let the deck have fall. All right? Now do it with me. 
I have to use two hands in order to make it actually shuffle. So, grips. Separate. Fingers in position. Deck halves in position. Slide the thumbs to the corners and flatten the fingers and leave the thumbs underneath. Pinkies on the outside, securing the cards from sliding out to the side. All the other ones on top and the thumbs in position. Now, if you were comfortable, you could just let it ripple down. All right, let's do it all again and we'll add the riffle this time. This is training your hands. This is very important to train it correctly. If you're just going through it to do it, it's not going to accomplish what you want. You're going to have to retrain yourself later. Here we go. Grip. Split it in half. Fingers in position. Deck halves in position. Slide the thumbs. Drop the fingers. This is the hard part. Dropping, that, dropping those fingers are real tough. And now we've got our everything in position and you just let the cards fall together without a lot of power. Just let the cards fall. And you've got the deck halves dropped like that. And you can see that it's a pretty decent shuffle right there. A little bit of chunks, but not bad, but that's demonstration going slow motion. Eventually you want it to look pretty much like this. Just split it and you just get it. You get all that very quickly eventually. We're slowing it down. All right, here we go again. Training again. Do as I say. Grips. Get it over here so you can see. We'll start over. Grips. Split. Fingers in position. Deck halves in position. And you can slide your thumbs while you're getting the deck halves in position to save yourself a little time. Flatten the fingers and then drop the deck quietly shuffling. Now, as you lift your hands up, you keep your, this is a little tough to see, so I'm going to spin it up. As you're picking it up, don't pick the deck up like this. This is just so you can see. You're keeping your middle finger and your ring finger and your thumb in the riffle position, and then your pinkies on the outside, and you're keeping your, your thumb or your index finger down so that if you try to pick it up and you don't keep something down, it might all fall apart. So once you get here, you keep it down as you re-grip, and then you lift up and you push together with your pinkies on the outside with a riffle position. All right, we're going to do all of that again. Here we go. Grip. Separate. Fingers. Slide the thumbs and deck halves in position. Drop everything. Drop the cards. Drop everything meant flatten the fingers. And push it all together. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's okay. Try it again. Grip. Separate. Fingers. Slide the thumbs as you pull it together. Flatten everything. Drop the deck. Pin it in place. Slide it together. One more time. Grip. Split. Fingers. Thumb slide and deck halves in position. Flatten your fingers. Riffle the cards. It's a little tough to see in there. Riffle the cards. And, and notice that it's very difficult to see, partly because that's what the purpose of flattening the fingers are. Even from this angle, it's really tough to see what the cards are when you riffle. That's what the real riffle is. I'm opening it up a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing, but Ultimately, when you get there, it looks like that. You can't see a thing if you're anyone on the sides. All right, when you get here, we'll start over just because I got carried away. Grip. Well, I'll give you a sec to catch up. Get the deck back in, in a position and get going. Here we go. Grip. Split. Fingers. Together and slide the thumbs. Flatten the fingers. Riffle the cards. Keep the position of the deck and use your pinkies and your riffle fingers to push it all together. That's the riffle. I'm going to do it one more time and then you do it a few times on your own. Grip. Split. Fingers in position. Slide the thumbs as you get to the deck positions. Flatten the fingers. Let the cards fall. A little tough for you to see, I know, but that's part of it. You want to have the correct form. And then push the cards together. The less pressure that you put on the deck halves, 
the easier it's going to be to push them together. If you're real tight with your fingers on the outsides, it's going to be tougher to put them together. If you're looser, then it slides together easier. All right, and next, we'll just go over the box one more time. You want to use your, your, riffle, your riffle grip just like this. I'll do it with this hand since I'm a righty. The other hand, you can leave flat on the felt, and you just pull a quarter of the deck off the top, put it on the felt, quarter, quarter, quarter. Remember, as it says in the shuffle video, it's riffle, riffle, box, riffle. Then you cut the cards. Just to remind you of cutting the cards, you do this with one hand only. You take one third off the top or two thirds off the, the top and you put it onto the cut card. Put it onto the, the other half of the deck. Clear your hands and you put it into your hand. I went over the deck grip in the shuffle video. I do recommend that you just remember that the four fingers here, the other fingers are here, thumbs in a flexible position. Thank you very much for watching this video. This has been a pleasure to go through. Hopefully that you've gotten something out of it. Your fingers feel a little bit more natural. It can take hours and hours and hours to really get a good feel for it. This is slowing it down. When you speed it up, it's, it's a little bit tighter and everything, but I think that you'll do just great after a video like that. Thank you very much. I'm Mark Shumsker. This is TruePokerDealer.com.